What is going on, everybody? Pete Simonetti here for NYY News TV. Guys, we thought when Glaber Torres booted that double play right before the All-Star break, we kind of sat there and go, well, get the four days off. Maybe we come out of the break a better team. We're playing the Rockies. Then we got the Angels. Then it's the Royals. And maybe we get a sweep. We, you know, we go five and one out the gate. Something really good to kind of say, hey, guys, we can do it. The sink, the, the ship is not sinking yet. Well, folks, you know, unfortunately, we got to talk about how we are currently on the Titanic. And even though I always say and we scream at the top of our lungs, we will go down with the ship. Yes, I will. Happily doing it because I will always love my Yankees no matter what. But boy, oh boy, let me tell you, man. I am prepared for the end uh, as, as we are just going right down there and um, fast, fast at that. So coming out, as I said, of the all-star break, we just thought the Yankees were going to sweep the Rockies. We sat there and said, it, hey, they'll, you know, got to sweep the Rockies and they lose two of three in, in bad fashion also. But then, but then they get swept. They get swept. By the, by the LA Angels. And guys, the numbers in that series was not cute. Uh, before I get into those numbers, let's do as we always do to see where the Yankees currently rank. And where the Yankees currently rank, guys, is not cute. Of course, they are last in the American League East at 50 and 47, three games above water. And they are nine games out the division, but three and a half games out the wild card. And if you look over a little bit to the right, kind of right above my head, a little bit to the left of that, if you're looking at your screen, run differential is now a plus eight. That is it. Well, you know, when you don't score and your <clears throat> bullpen's back has been broken all year long from carrying innings, is what happens. And starters every now and then are going to have bad outings and this and that. But that is where the Yankees currently are right now. But before I get into the Angel Series numbers, look at this tweet right here from the Game Day MLB. Jamison Tyone, eight innings, no runs against the Yankees. Austin Gomber, six innings, two runs. Chase Anderson, five innings, no runs. Griffin Canning, who Aaron Boone rightfully, rightfully, <laughs> he felt it was rightfully, said they worked them at least. Five and two, third innings, two earned runs. And Patty Sandoval, seven and one, third innings, one earned run. Listen to this. I'm going to read the ERAs across the board, okay? You ready for this? 6.93, 6.40, 6.89, 4.62, 4 4.41. That is who the Yankees got absolutely dominated against. But, but, listen to these numbers against the Angels. 99 at-bats, 18 hits. That is under 200. Seven runs scored. 42 strikeouts, 12 walks. And they went two for 16 with runners in scoring position. And they also had a little bit of scary news. I can actually jump to that real quick. But it looks like Harrison Bader may not be going to the IL. Harrison Bader <clears throat> had a rib contusion hit by pitch. Will have additional tests and hopeful of playing Friday at Yankee Stadium. He said it's a little sore. It just tightened up on him while he was on the bases. Didn't feel like it was best to keep going. Um, so... It seems like in his own words, he's kind of he kind of asked to be removed out of the game and keep that in mind when it comes to uh, what we're going to talk about in, in a little bit. But, you know, could it get worse than this? Is this rock bottom? Will the Yankees pick it up and turn it around? We also hear that Aaron Boone had a closed door meeting. I'm pretty sure he passed out cupcakes and said, everybody dim the lights, light some candles and let's have a little goose frabra moment. Um, and, and, and see what happens. See if that helps him. When in reality, he should have closed the door, broke 14 chairs, did a Ric Flair elbow drop on a few of them, a Macho Man, a Macho Man elbow drop, a Hulk Hogan atomic leg drop, right on top of all the broken wooden chairs, got a blade, cut his head a little bit, blood all over his face, and said, let's fucking go. That's what he should have did. In reality, we don't know what he should have did, but that's what I would have done. But I'm also me. He's also Aaron Boone. He likes to, 
you know, close the door by himself and listen to Taylor Swift. Uh, God bless him. He recites her songs spot on. He gets bullied by umps. Okay, whatever it is. God bless the guy. But the Yankees offense got to change, guys. Yesterday, I, I posed a very simple question. Could the Yankees actually get worse if they just started giving guys away? Any team that wants certain guys on the offense side, take them. Take them. You want Trevino? Take them. We're gonna, let's get into this. You want Trevino? Take them. Jose Trevino over his last 30 games hitting 211. 211 over his last 30 games. Anthony Rizzo, everybody knows how much I love Anthony Rizzo. It is not a secret. I love this guy. You want him? You can take him. 181 over his last 30 games. Love the guy. Giancarlo Stanton. Frankenstein. I feel bad for him. G's legs are beat the hell up. They're beat up. Sitting 170 over his last 30 games. Over his last 100 plus games sitting under 200. As Kev said last night on Game Season Live, me, Kev, and um, Mario. Kev said he's not, his, he's not Aaron Judge's Robin. Aaron Judge needs his Robin. And that guy is not Giancarlo Stanton. Looking at the Yankees roster, I'm going to show you guys the outfield real quick because you heard about Bader. Who knows how Bader feels today? Would it be in the off day? Who knows if Friday, Saturday, he can't play? Yankees offense, Yankees outfield, $300 million payroll. Keep this in mind. Would then be, depending on who they call up, if they put him on the IL or they just sit back and go with what they got until he's healthy. With Bader missing, Cabrera Cordero. IKF and Billy McKinnon. And I guess you could throw G in there. Because he would probably have to play the outfield every day. Cabrera, Cordero, IKF, McKinney, and Giancarlo Stanton. That is the roster construction that Brian Cashman has put together. If Hal Steinbrenner, uh, again, just feels that this is okay and doesn't understand why the fans are upset and thinks that the process is working, that would be the first question I would ask him and Cashman. I'd have other questions for Aaron Boone. Seriously, you know what I would ask Aaron Boone? No joke. If I could ask him one question. I would ask him this flat out. Is it really you, Aaron? Is it really you? Seriously. In private, nobody has to ever know the answer. I would love to know. Is this really you? But Brian Cashman, is the process working? Is this the process? You said, you told us last offseason, we lost, we were done. We feel the process is working. Wins and losses don't matter. You said it, B Cash. Wins and losses do not matter. Your words, not mine. Wins and losses do not mean somebody should be fired as long as the process is working. Still one of the old time most idiotic quotes I have ever heard in my life. It's right up there with many of Aaron Boone's and many of Steinbrenner's. We ain't done yet. Your sister's tit, you been done. You been done. And we're seeing the results of you being done. We're seeing the results of Brian Cashman getting all the reins of this team. We seen what's happening. We seen what's happening when you put a leader with no accountability in charge of a group of men. We've seen what happens. We've seen the excuses which breed leaders. Losers. Excuse me. Excuses breed losers. We're seeing that. This is the team of complacency. Once the excuses... Came on board and on ship, guys. I was out there screaming about it in the postseason. Could go back and see the videos. Excuses breed losers. You know what else, what else it also breeds? Complacency. And this is the complacent New York Yankees. Everything is fine. I don't know why you guys are mad. 
What would they be mad for? Wins and losses do not result in somebody getting fired as long as the process is working. Well, is the process working? Is the process working? We worked that guy. I mean, I mean, yeah, he pitched good, but we worked him. We only struck out 12 times against them and 17 times in a whole game. But hell, we got him out in five and two thirds. How do you like that? Even though anybody strikes out a lot of guys, a pitch count, you know, goes up. But Aaron Boone apparently doesn't remember the 09 Yankees. He doesn't remember the dynasty years when a manager like Torrey or Girardi would sit there and go, we worked a guy today. Yeah, he was out in the third inning because you kicked his fucking ass. Not because he kicked your... He worked you. It's a big difference, buddy. It's a big difference. Is this rock bottom? Guys, I don't know how much more further down you can go besides below 500. I mean, I think that's the only thing we're waiting for at this point, right? Is below 500 would probably be at that point where it's like, well, we're, we're rock bottom. But for the Yankees... They're sitting back right now going, guys, we're only three and a half out of the wild card. We're only three and a half out. And the scariest thing for Yankee fans right now is, do I want to play along with that facade? As much as we all want to win, and hey, if you just get in, you never know. But here's what I want to tell the fans. Don't fall for the mirage. Yes, teams could just get in and they could win, but they typically have things in place to still do so. Does anybody think the Yankees offense out of nowhere is going to pop and they're going to be scoring six, seven runs a game, five runs a game? Does anybody believe that this is going back 200 games, guys? When Aaron Boone and these guys tell you it's a sample size, a tough stretch, all you could do is go, hey, Aaron, over the last 162 games, you guys are 82, 81 and 81. 81 and 81 with yesterday's loss. 500. That's not a stretch. That's a season. You can even add another 50 games on that, and you're slightly over 500. That is not a tough stretch. That's a season plus. This is for real, folks. And again, here's the scariest thought of it. And as a Yankee fan, you know, you guys know me. I will always tell you all the truth of what I believe is the truth. You might think differently, and that's fine. But I believe you can save it. And I ain't even talking about this year. I'm talking about the future. But it's not going to be saved with Brian Cashman, and it's not going to be saved with Aaron Boone. And for everybody who goes, Pete, you just hate Boone. You hate Boone. Let me tell you something right now. If I had to choose one of those guys, I'm choosing Boone all day to keep on the Yankees, and I'm firing Cashman. All day, every day, 100 times out of 100 times. Hey, Pete, get rid of one of the guys. Who are you getting rid of? Cashman. And I'm not. that's not me giving Boone credit. That's me saying maybe there's a lot going on there, and maybe he would be himself a little more, be a little different, but he's also shown me a lot where he is who he is, and he's not fit for this team either. Dream, both of them go, and you got a new philosophy. You get maybe a Brian Sabian in there just a clear house and do what he wants. Input his philosophy. Get a new manager in there. Get new people around him and go from there. But I don't want Brian Cash and being a guy to kind of try to turn this thing around. I don't think he's the guy for it. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong on all of this. And the Yankees proved me wrong this season. I hope that's the case. Because, guys, I don't want to call another postseason when it's not Yankee games. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to sit there and, and watch these. I want the Yankees to be there. I want to root them on. I want to call the New York Yankees have won number 28. I want to be able to call that and say I've done that. But as of right now, guys, it looks like we are getting the waters filling up on the boat, and it is almost at the point where it's going to snap in half and go straight down, and I'll be on top. Hey! Struck Going down with the ship, fam. Going down with the ship. Like, share, and subscribe. Guys, real quick, we have been blowing up the subscription numbers for subscribers here at NYY News TV. I think over the last three days, 300 and something new subscribers, almost 100 a day. You guys are amazing. You are flying us to Mission 20K, which might get accomplished way quicker 
way quicker than we even expected. So I thank you guys. I love you all from me, the fiance, to everybody at NYY News TV. We love you guys and everything you do. Much, much appreciated. NYYST is, is on tonight at 8.30 live. Stay tuned for that. Um, 8.30 tonight, I'll be in the chat, of course. But guys, with that being said, until next time, I am out. I'm going down with the ship, damn it. I'm going down with the ship. Peace, guys.